Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, the cruise news, it's been pretty quiet here the last couple of days and then suddenly, bam, today we have several cruise news stories for you. So we're going to jump into the cruise news for today, March the 2nd, 2022, and we're going to start with Norwegian Cruise Lines. All right, Norwegian Cruise Lines aboard the Norwegian Epic from May 2023 through October of 2023, they have canceled all Mediterranean cruises on board that ship. Now, an email was sent out to those that were affected by these cruise cancellations, and the only thing the email really says is that the cruises have been canceled due to redeployment. So whether the ship's going to get a different itinerary or whether it's going to be moved to a new cruise port, well, we're going to have to wait and see, but... Like I said, those Mediterranean cruises on board the Norwegian Epic, they have been canceled. Now, I know there are people out there that have been waiting for cruising to return to the Grand Caymans, and it looks like we are closer to that happening than we've been here in quite a while. And we could see cruising return to the Grand Caymans as early as March 21st here at the end of this month. Now, they are planning at running what they're calling reduced capacity or reduced cruise passengers, and they want to run about 40% of what they normally would have for cruise passengers. So we're talking like 75,000 people. It didn't really specify a time frame. I'm guessing that's like a week or a month, something like that, at least in the very beginning so they can kind of see how everything goes. Now, the reopening of the Grand Caymans still is dependent on it getting approved by the cabinet there. They are expecting that decision here next week, along with updated health and safety protocols that will go along with that. But it's looking better than it's looked in a while. And like I said, we may see cruising resume there as early as the end of this month. Now, before that happens, though, we have some cruise itinerary changes from Carnival Cruise Lines over the fact that Grand Caymans is not yet accepting cruise ships. Now, this is going to be affecting the Carnival Pride, the Carnival Horizon, and the Carnival Glory for cruises here at the beginning and middle of March. All right, so starting with the Carnival Glory sailing out of New Orleans on March the 5th. Of course, you will not be going to the Grand Caymans or going to Jamaica. They have removed both of those cruise stops and instead we'll be going to Cozumel, Costa Maya, and Belize. Now we have two itinerary changes for the Carnival Pride sailing out of Tampa, Florida, starting with the March 5th cruise. No stop in the Grand Caymans, of course, and we'll call in Cozumel, Costa Maya, Belize, and Mahogany Bay for the March 5th cruise, and then on the March 13th cruise, we'll be stopping at Costa Maya, Mahogany Bay, Belize, and Cozumel with no Grand Caymans. And finally, we have the Carnival Horizon sailing on March the 13th from Miami, Florida. Well, instead of going to the Grand Caymans, the Carnival Horizon is going to be going to Amber Cove, Grand Turk, and Nassau Bahamas. So if you are booked on any of those four cruises, you should have already received an email letting you know about those itinerary changes. And if you haven't received it yet, definitely take a look at your email. That way you can see if you are being affected by that or not. Now, Royal Caribbean, they have released their itineraries for the 2023-2024 cruising season. And I noticed in there a really big change, at least a big change to me, and one that really has me pretty excited. So, you know, here in November of 2022, we are going to be getting Allure of the Seas here in Galveston, our first Oasis-class ship here in Texas, with some changes coming for the 2023-2024 season, it also looks like we're going to get another Oasis-class ship. So starting on November the 1st of 2023, Harmony of the Seas is going to be moving from Florida to Galveston and is going to be sailing here at least through April of 2024. 
I'm very excited for this ship to come here. And it's actually kind of funny if you've been watching our videos, watch the last live video we did. One of the things that Tiffany was looking for was a chance to try the Wonderland restaurant on Royal Caribbean's Oasis class ships. Well, with the allure of the seas coming here, Wonderland Restaurant is not on board that particular ship. It was something that was added later on, but it is something she was really interested in trying. Well, I guess the Royal Caribbean cruise gods must have heard her request because what do you know, a week later, we find out we're going to get Harmony of the Seas in November of 2023. And finally, we have some health and safety protocol changes from MSC Cruise Lines. Now, we've already seen a lot of the other cruise lines update their masking policies in particular, a reduction in their masking policies, a lot that have gone into effect here over the last couple of days and a lot that went into effect just yesterday, okay? Where a majority of cruise lines are now saying that masks are recommended, but they are no longer required. Well, MSC, they have also joined that particular group. They are changing their masking policies and they are making a change to their vaccine policy. So I'm going to go over here and take a look at MSC's website and we're going to start off with their vaccination requirements. So until April 22nd of 2022, all guests ages 12 and above must be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Now, beginning April 23rd of 2022, all guests five and above must be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. So starting on the 23rd next month, everybody five and above will have to be fully vaccinated on MSC Cruise Line. Now for their mask policy, beginning April 23rd of 2022 for ships departing from U.S. ports, Masks will be recommended but not required on board in public areas for fully vaccinated guests. Guests who are not fully vaccinated, which is over two and under five years old, are required to wear masks on board indoor public areas. Masks are required for all guests in the terminal at, at embarkation and disembarkation. All right, so MSC is going to lower it down and say that, look, in order to sail with us, you have to be fully vaccinated unless you are under the age of five. So four and below can still not be vaccinated simply because they are ineligible. But beginning on April 23rd, everybody five and above will have to be fully vaccinated and masks go from required to only to recommended for those fully vaccinated passengers. And just that little age group there between two and four, well, they will still have to wear masks while they are in indoor public spaces while on board the ship. And of course, everybody has to wear it during embarkation and disembarkation in the cruise terminal and at any of the cruise ports that may still require it. So if you have any questions, concerns for MSC's changes to their health and safety protocols, Highly recommend you go over to MSC's website, take a look at their health and safety protocols, read their frequently asked questions, particularly if you have an upcoming MSC cruise because some of these changes, they could possibly be affecting you. All right, and that's going to be our cruise news for today. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Have yourself a great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.